Welcome in to Seahawks Today, powered by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Happy to have you with us. Coming up on today's show, we are talking trade targets. Who are some players Seattle could be trading for that are on the trade block as we get closer to the new league year opening up? We will tell you in just a few moments from right now. Before we do, today is Valentine's Day, also known as Singles Awareness Day to some out there. Hope you have a very good Valentine's Day, but I'll be honest with you, it's not a real holiday. It's a fake holiday. Granted, I am a single guy, but even with that said, I mean, if you are taking the day off work on Valentine's Day, you're just a straight-up simp. Let's be honest here, okay? No simping allowed here on Seahawks today. Is Valentine's Day a real holiday? Chime in in the comment section and maybe wish somebody out there a happy Valentine's Day, and we'll get started with today's show. Trade targets for Seattle. Who are some players that the Seahawks <clears throat> could be interested in potentially bringing in this offseason? Here's what I've done. I've gone through all the teams in the NFL and of potential trade targets of guys that will be on the trade block based on team and then potential fits of need for Seattle of guys that could potentially make sense. I have five players who want to run by one by one. Number one on the list is Cam Jordan a.k.a. Cameron Jordan, of the New Orleans Saints. He is the best player that we will talk about today that could be on the move and moving on elsewhere. And you look at the resume from Cameron Jordan, a 2017 first-team All-Pro, eight-time Pro Pro Bowler, uh, as recently as this past season. Even though that he is a little bit older now, he still is playing some really good football at this point in his career. Money-wise, you're looking at a two-year 19 million dollars left on his contract at this point in time so that is something to keep in mind a player of his caliber that's actually not bad uh all things considered to pay him uh that amount when you look at the production of what he's been able to put together over the last few seasons this past year he was able to total eight and a half sacks two forced fumbles that was down the sack total was from last year but his tackle number was up at 66, and his tackle for loss number was the exact same at 13. And, and you can see that even as he's gotten older, the numbers are still very consistent. Sure, he's not putting together 15 and a half sacks like he did in 2019, but he is still a very good football player, and the Seahawks certainly have a need when it comes to the front seven for this Seattle team. So let's start with Cam Jordan. Would you like to see the Seahawks bring – Cam Jordan to Seattle. What say you? Let us know in the comments section. You might get an ad break. If so, take advantage of it. Get your votes in. Type Y for yes. Type N for no. If you want to see Seattle bring in Cam Jordan, what do you think about this possibility? Let me know in the comments section below. Next up is Shaquille Griffin of the Jacksonville Jaguars. A very familiar name to Seahawk fans as Griffin began his career in Seattle. Could there be a reunion, a homecoming of sorts for Shaquille Griffin. We know that he was a pro bowler back in 2019. Seattle drafted him uh, in 2017 in the third round and joined the Jags in free agency back in 2021. And you look at this Seahawks team, we know that they have, you know, some very talented young corners in Tariq Woolen and Kobe Bryant. There's questions about Mike Jackson of his future. If you bring back Shaq, for this upcoming season, and you look at the price tag, what I've seen is that you wouldn't have to really give up a whole lot for Shaq at this point in time. To me, that would be an upgrade over Mike Jackson, and he was well-liked. This is a guy that's well-respected, a good locker room guy. I think it would be welcome his return, potentially, to bring him back to Seattle. The statistics show uh, 2022 – was uh, a down year for Shaq, as you can see, with uh, six tackles, didn't have any interceptions, but we know what he's capable of. You go back to that 2020 season when he had three interceptions to go along with uh, 63 tackles and 53 solo tackles. I mean, it was a very good year for Shaq Griffin there back in 2020. To me, this is one of those things where it's a low risk, high reward. The Seahawks are looking for some potential help in the secondary. Shaq has been around Seattle. He was well-liked in everything. To me, this is one 
we always look for reunions, and we know that Pete Carroll has a history of bringing guys back for a second and third run. To me, I like the idea of bringing Shaquille Griffin back to Seattle as far as I'm concerned. What say you? You like the idea of bringing back Shaquille Griffin to the Seahawks? If you do, type T for trade. If not, I understand. Type P for pass. Let me know in the comments section. Looks like the Jags won't be asking very much for him. They will probably move on from him, but won't be a high asking price. What did say you? Let me know in the comments section. T for trade, P for pass. Today's show, we are offering a great deal. If you go to chatsports.com slash Seahawks hoodie, and we have hoodies that are on sale for up to 50% off. Look, it's February. It's still somewhat cold outside right now, and you need to dress warm. And if anything, you put on the hoodie, and you don't necessarily have to turn on the heat in the house either. A lot of flexibility there when it comes to these hoodies. You might as well be rocking with your hawk out in uh, some Seahawks gear that we're selling here. It's a great deal, only for a limited time. Get it while supplies last. Hoodies up to 50% off. Get yours today. Chatsports.com slash Seahawks hoodie. You'll be glad you did. Look at these hoodies. They're just fantastic. Why would you not want to get one of these? Get yours now. Chatsports.com slash Seahawks hoodie. All right, let's uh, shift gears now and go to the number three name on our list. Cam Jordan, understand if you might not want Cam Jordan, if you think that asking price is too high potentially. The other option, the you know great value brand or Kirkland brand would be Jerry Hughes potentially as an edge rusher you could bring in. And I like Jerry Hughes a lot personally. Joined the Texans this past year in 2022. And the best thing that you can say about Jerry Hughes has been his reliability over the years. Since 2014, I understand that he's a bit older now. He's only missed a grand total of two games in that stretch. He's been very dependable. So even as he gets older as a football player, this is a guy that can be counted for as a reliable piece, that he's been able to stay out there, not be injury prone. Had success everywhere he's been. Houston, Indianapolis, Buffalo, he has been an asset to every team he's played with. This past year, Jerry Hughes, the statistics you can see, had 35 tackles, nine sacks, two forced fumbles, and one interception. Even with him being older and going to a Houston team that was just utter garbage this past year, he still put up the best season he had in several years with more sacks than he had any of those previous three seasons. Forced fumble number was the same. Interception number was the same compared to 2020, and his tackle rate went up. To me, Jerry Hughes, this could be like a diamond in the rut find of sorts here. I really like Jerry Hughes. This one makes a lot of sense for me. And, you know, Cam Jordan, I think it's one of those deals, if you can get Cam Jordan, great. But if this is what you settle for, if you make a trade and bring in Jerry Hughes, I think you're still feeling pretty dang good. Like, wow, you found a great bargain buy potentially in Jerry Hughes. I like Jerry Hughes a lot. A couple more names to get to here in a second. So now let's ask you you guys here on Seahawks today, whether it's somebody we've talked about or somebody we have not talked about, who would you like to see the Seahawks trade for this offseason? Give me a name or two that you'd like to see in a Seahawks uniform coming up next season that you'd like to see them make a move for. Let me know what you're thinking as far as a player you'd like to see the Seahawks add. Folks, uh, we are growing each and every day here on Seahawks Today. We are getting so close to 35,000 subscribers, but we need your help to get there. I need 357 diehard Seahawk fans to subscribe to the channel right now. And I'll tell you what, for everyone that subscribes, type me in the comments, and I'm going to shout you out on a show at a later date. But you got to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe now. doesn't cost you a thing. We're counting down to free agency, trades, Also, we are getting you ready for the NFL draft as well. Turn on notifications so you never miss a moment. YouTube.com slash Seahawks TV. Number four on our list is Denzel Mims. Now, I understand that there are going to be better receivers on the trade block potentially. When you look around the league like DeAndre Hopkins, um, when you potentially look at Tampa Bay with Mike Evans and Chris Godwin, but... Those guys are looking to be number one receivers, number two at worst. Seattle, you're already established with Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf as your 1A, 1B type guys. 
And so if you're going to trade for a receiver, you're looking for that potential number three and somebody that's not going to cost you much at all. You're not in a position to try to make a move for a DeAndre Hopkins or a Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, those types. You're looking for those value buys, and Denzel Mims could be just that. Look, Denzel Mims, it hasn't been a great start to his NFL career. That's no secret. He hasn't been on the field much. He's played just 30 games in the last three seasons. His career stats, not anything to write home about with 42 catches, 676 yards and averaging over 16 yards per reception. Uh, But I think of this kind of like last year when the Seahawks made the trade for J.J. Ortega-Whiteside from the Philadelphia Eagles, who they ultimately ended up cutting anyway. But it was a deal that they made where it didn't cost them hardly anything, right? And it didn't work out. They cut him. They moved on. I think with Denzel Mims, you could make a trade here for a guy that was a second-round pick not too long ago, not give up a whole lot. If it doesn't work out, so be, and you see what happens here. I think there's upside of Denzel Mims. I think he was underutilized with the New York Jets, that he still has a lot of potential here, might just need a change of scenery as far as I'm concerned. Last on the list is Chuck Clark at safety from the Baltimore Ravens. Now, Chuck Clark is a very talented football player. Uh, He's had a good career with the Baltimore Ravens. The reason why he's number five on our list is because I personally think that when it comes to the safety position, that the Seahawks need to re-sign Ryan Neal and bring him back. But if they don't, if things cannot work out, if the sides can't come together and you do end up needing to bring a safety, whether that's Jamal Adams isn't completely healthy can't depend on him anyway, or you move him to linebacker, whatever it may be. If this is, if Ryan Neal is not brought back, if they can't find a way to bring him back, then the backup plan, I think, could be a guy like Chuck Clark. Clark, a sixth-round pick out of Virginia Tech in 2017, and he has been very reliable over the years. You look at what the Ravens are going through. This is a team that, you know, has Kyle Hamilton, has Marcus Williams, Geno Stone. They are loaded at the safety spot so They are in a position where they're looking to move on from Chuck Clark and somebody that, when you look at the reliability, 240 tackles, three and a half sacks, five interceptions, five forced fumbles. To me, Chuck Clark, I think he's a very good football player, and there's still a place for him in the National Football League. And Seattle, to me, this is a good backup plan if you can't figure it out with Ryan Ryan Neal uh, as far as that goes. So pick one to trade for. Let's say it's down to these two. Denzel Mims, Chuck Clark, who would you choose? Let me know in the comments section. Type DM for Denzel Mims. Type CC for Chuck Clark. What would you choose between these two if you could decide one way or the other? You can interact with me on social media, Twitter and Instagram and Facebook at Tyler Jones Live. Talking about your Seattle Seahawks on those social media platforms. I'll see you next time right here on Seahawks Today.